Hello, and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax, brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison, and today I want to talk about code upgrades. Xactimate has a paid when incurred tool that we can use for code upgrades and policyholder directed upgrades. Today's video is just going to be about code upgrades. Next week, we'll talk about policyholder directed upgrades. So, to start off, I am in an Xactimate estimate. And under the Claim Info tab, I want to go to the Coverage Loss section. Of note, coverage loss is only available for those of you that are writing in the Cario profile. We've talked in other videos and we teach in all of our classes. We highly recommend writing in the carrier profile and this is another one of those reasons why. So if I click coverage loss, it'll take me to this page. And when we're talking code upgrades, it's important to put in the policy limit for dwelling, coverage A. Let's say for example, it's $500,000. Why is this important? 10% uh, of the dwelling coverage is generally what is allotted for code upgrade coverage. So it's important to know what the claim is going to look like so you can set reserves and as well as if you have to address code upgrades, you will have to know what the policy limit is for the code upgrade coverage amount. Secondly, I'm going to go over here to the add options under the dwelling coverage. And I'm going to go down here to additional coverage and select this drop down menu. Now, it should automatically come with code upgrades and green. As you can see, we've added PH policyholder upgrades ourselves. But if for whatever reason code upgrades is not there, you can go to the smart list, come over here to add, and you can say code upgrade two. And under type, you'll see code upgrade, green upgrade, a general upgrade, additional coverage. In this case, it's a code upgrade. So now I have that as an option of code upgrade two. But for this uh, example, we're just gonna use the normal code upgrade, code upgrade. Uh, secondly, we have our aggregate here. Now, 10% of 500,000 is $50,000, which is saying that for this policy and in this claim, we have $50,000 available for code upgrades. It's important to leave this checked for additional amount of insurance. This signifies that you have $50,000 on top of the $500,000 of your policy limit for coverage A uh, for code upgrades allotted. So we're going to hit OK here, and we'll go. I'll show you real quick that I have a sketch in place of a single room with two line items in place. So there are two things that we can do here um, with code upgrades. First and foremost, let's say, and I'm going to get rid of this, that there were no outlets in place for whatever reason, and it's a code upgrade to have outlets installed because the code says you have to have these outlets there in that spot for whatever reason. So first thing you can do is go click the line item and then come up here to coverage and go to code upgrade. And you'll note right here it says paid when incurred is clicked. When I hit OK, it'll turn it uh, brownish and actually cross it out. So what is this saying? When I go to the report and I look at the summary, it's saying that there is no line items for actual the claim, coverage A, but for code upgrades, paid when incurred, after the outlet, uh, tamper resistant outlet is installed, there will be an additional check released for $14.89 for code upgrades uh, to install. Once it's installed, that money can be released. Um, that's saying if it wasn't there in the first place, it has to be added uh, according to code upgrades. Now, a very common use will be, let's add that line item back, and I'm going to match activity codes again, move this up in front of it, and I'm going to take off I'm going to leave that, but now I'm going to go here to associations. So in this example, we're saying that there was an outlet in place in the first place, and the insurance company is allowing uh, the uh, ELEOS -E replacement line item as what they should cover for what was there in the first place. But due to code upgrades, you're going to have to install a tamper-resistant outlet. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click associations, and this will come up, and I'm going to select ELEOS. Once I hit OK again, now, both line items are brown, but only the tamper resistant is crossed out. What does that look like on our report? If I come back here and click view, you'll see it's 1273 that's allotted as part of the claim for the outlet that was there existing that was lost in the claim. But there will be an additional $2.16 released once the tamper resistant outlets have been installed in accordance with the code upgrades that were paid when incurred. Um, if you have any questions regarding code upgrades, and uh, please comment below. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe, as always. 
Uh, we release exact tax videos every Thursdays, and next week we'll be talking about policyholder directed upgrades using this pay when incurred tool. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next week.